Well, tonight, one of the fastest spreading illnesses among children in the United States isn't COVID or the flu, but a respiratory virus known as RSV. Well, now help could finally be on the way. CBS's Janet Shamlin reports on a new vaccine that could be approved next year. Three-month-old Cooper Wachter is in the intensive care unit of a Minnesota hospital with RSV. We could see it like in his stomach that he was just kind of almost like convulsing when he tried to breathe. Um, and so that's when we knew that it was really bad. A new vaccine announced today could help prevent cases like Cooper's. When given to pregnant women in trials, it was almost 82% effective in preventing severe RSV in newborns to three months old and almost 70% effective in children through six months of age. At Texas Children's Hospital, doctors are optimistic. What role do you think this vaccine could play in the future? As a pediatrician, we haven't had any treatment for RSV my whole career and way before then. And so we would be hopeful that if there are options for treatment, that's huge for our kids. RSV cases are rising in at least 36 states. Nationwide, more than 70% of pediatric beds are full. Two and a half year old James Torres has a breathing tube at Texas Children's Hospital. Senior child intubated is, is is really tough. Okay. Oh. Back in Minnesota, Cooper Wachter could be out of the hospital by week's end. His mom, Shannon, says seeing what he's been through, she'd have no hesitancy taking the vaccine had it been available when she was pregnant. Would you have taken it? Now with a nationwide um, thing happening, I would say that I most definitely would have if I could. Hi. I mean, anything, you know, to not let our little boy better? suffer as much as he has. Here at Texas Children's Hospital, the nation's largest pediatric medical center, they currently have about 50 children with RSV. The CDC says, says the virus is spread by respiratory droplets and by touching contaminated surfaces. Nora. Tough to see those little babies suffering. Janet Chamley, and thank you so much.